Hey riders and racers, and welcome back for another live stream. Uh, let me take this jumper off because it's getting a bit warm, but um, as I'm doing that, today's topic for today's live stream is how 50 year old riders uh, should be working on getting fitter. Um, and more importantly, without being sore for weeks, because as you get older, uh, as you'll know, uh, your recovery is not as good. Uh, when you're a youngster, you can get away with uh, going out and drinking the night before and going to sleep at three o'clock and waking up at six and then going out for a ride um, and eating shit the whole time and still feel perfectly fine. And then as you start to get older, um, you go to bed an hour or two, two later than what you should or get up an hour or two earlier um, and you end up paying, it, paying for it for the next week. Uh, we tend not to bounce back uh, as quickly or as fast when we get older and same with uh, injuries and coming off the bike as well. Uh, and same for just going riding. Uh, when you're younger, you go for a ride and you can back it up multiple days in a row. Hey Joseph, hey James. Uh, when you get older, that doesn't happen, uh, especially if you're not doing any fitness work or doing the right fitness work. You end up paying for it for a week. By the time you've recovered, um, it's time to go riding again the next weekend and end up in a whole world of soreness. Um, so three things I'm going to focus on today uh, for you 50 plus guys, uh, just in terms of how to tackle your training, um, what to expect uh, from your training um, and different things your body's going through as well um, as you start to get older. That you, some you might be aware of, some you might not be aware of, some things you probably, well, most of them you're probably already uh, going through and realize for yourself. Uh, so hopefully some good solutions for you guys to, um, to work around these things. So I'll just get my computer set up here because sometimes the comments don't come through on my, um, on my phone. So, so first thing, first area is strength. So as you get older, your body produces less and less testosterone. So uh, a good way of being able to see uh, a good example of this is if like you go into the city, right? Or if you've ever been into the city, or maybe you think about yourself or your friends when you're younger. Um, when you go into the city, there's usually a lot of fights, right? Uh, there's a lot of 18 year olds, 19 year olds, 20, 21, 22, 23 year olds. Um, and these are usually the guys that are getting into the fights when you go out um, clubbing or going to the city. Um, very rarely do you see a whole bunch of 60 year olds standing around uh, trying to beat the shit out of each other. Uh, and so one of the reasons for that is testosterone is at its highest when we are younger, um, specifically around that changes of lifetime, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then as you get older, that level of testosterone that your body produces starts to decrease. Um, so there's a couple of things that you'll notice is um, uh, as you get older, your level of competitiveness or like aggression um, is much lower than what it was when you were younger. You probably find when you're younger, maybe a lot more driven or a lot more competitive, a lot more aggressive. Uh, with how you tackle things just in general. It could be sport, could be with work, uh, could be just life in general. And then as you get older, uh, you tend to mellow out a little bit, a little bit more compassionate, maybe a little bit more empathetic, um, not as aggressive, not as competitive, a little bit more maybe, maybe caring is the right word. Um, and so one of the things that happens when that level of testosterone reduces is it's also harder for us to gain muscle mass and keep strength as well. Uh, when you're younger, a lot easier to gain strength. You can go and do weight training for a few weeks and you start to put on muscle mass and feel stronger and the weights start to go up. You start to do that when you get older, 40, 50 plus. Um, it's definitely not as easy. Um, and one of those reasons is testosterone. Testosterone is one of the builders for, uh, for building muscle mass, which is why men have more muscle mass than women because men produce more testosterone than what women do. So as we get older, our strength is naturally dropping off. Okay, our body's deteriorating and dropping off like this the older we get. We become a little bit more frail, a little bit more fragile than what we were when we were younger. So strength work, the goal of our strength work is instead of having a drop off like this, we want to make sure we have a drop off like this. And we want to try and prolong that and stretch that out as long as we possibly can. So how do you do that? You need to be doing some type of strength work. Okay, and when I say strength work, uh, lifting some weights. Okay, getting yourself stronger. It's hanging on to that strength and building strength uh, as you get older. What tends to happen is as people get older and as they age, we tend to do less and less and less. So, um, so I've got a little one-year-old at the moment, active all day, right? Crawling around. She's not walking yet, but she's crawling around, playing with her toys, climbing on things, trying to rip things down, trying to grab the TV off the fucking wall, um, trying to climb up on the, the lounge, okay? Trying to climb up on me, uh, crawling around into the pantry, trying to climb up into the pantry. They're just active all the time. Uh, and then they go to school and they play on the playground and play with their friends. And then as we get older, we tend to do less and less, okay? Whether it's through work, we don't do as much physical activity. We don't do casual sports anymore. 
we don't run around in the playground with other people. And then as we get older and older and older, um, we seem to do less and less and less. Okay, we seem to rest a lot more, sleep a lot more, or um, uh, want to sit down a lot more and not be as active. So that's one of the things we need to try and reverse, okay, or at least put the brakes on and try and slow down as much as we can. And the way we do that is through strength work. So um, this will also, strength work also helps your body to produce more testosterone as well. So at a time when you are getting older and your testosterone is dropping off, strength training is going to help to boost that up um, and not allow it to drop off as much as you get older. Pick it up from where it is now. Uh, so how do you strength train? Um, simple things. You can do things like squats, things like deadlifts, things like bent over rows, things like overhead presses with a barbell. Um, these are quite simple movements to learn. If you've never done them before at all, um, obviously there's a learning curve as there is with everything, but they're quite simple movements to perform. A deadlift, like where you pick things up every day. Squats, you're probably doing some form of a squat every day. Well, at least when you go and have a shit on the toilet, um, that's a squat. So you're squatting every day. Okay, bent over rows. Again, picking things up off the floor, uh, putting things up overhead in an overhead cupboard. You're already doing all of these movements on a day-to-day basis, probably just not with a bar. You're just doing them with day-to-day, uh, day-to-day life. Picking up the shopping bags, for example. Um, so simple, uh, simple movements there to use for your training. Um, to build the adequate strength that you need as, as you get older, you don't need to be training all the time. Okay, you don't need to be doing two, three sessions a week to see massive improvements in how you feel, the level of testosterone your body produces, the level of strength that you've got. Um, and part of that is you want to let your body recover as well. As you get older, um, your body doesn't bounce back as quick, okay, as you probably found out already. As we get older and older and older, it takes longer and longer and longer for us to recover. So when you're younger, you can get away with training all, the, training all day, every day, doing multiple sessions a day. Uh, training really hard, lifting maximally all the time um, and being able to back that up the next day or back that up 12 hours later. When you get older, it's a different story because you get much higher level of muscle soreness. Before, you might have done a really hard workout and been, not be sore at all. Now, then you get a little bit older and you do a hard workout and you're sore for a day. Then you get older and you do a hard workout and you're sore for a week. So you only need to be doing strength training two to three times per week. Um, and you don't need to be flogging the shit out of yourself. You just need to be doing the right training movements. Um, so you can use uh, weights that are a moderate weight for you, which means you've got enough enough load there for you to be challenged a little bit and for you to make progress and to get stronger, but not so much that it's going to wipe you out for the rest of the week. Um, at the end of the day, to get stronger, you need to be training consistently. And if you always feel so sore that you can't move, you number one, probably not going to train very well because you feel so stiff. And number two, you're probably not going to want to stick at it. Uh, because if you go and train and then you feel shit at work the next day and you feel shit when you get home and you're not sleeping properly because you've got aches and pains every time you roll over, it's not an enjoyable process. Um, and who wants to do something that they don't enjoy um, multiple times a week? Not many people. So that's the first thing for you guys is strength. Uh, second thing is cardio. Why do you need to build cardio? So cardio is mainly for breathing capacity, which is going to help you on the bike, obviously, uh, but also for heart health as well. Keep your heart strong. So when we're doing cardio, our breathing increases and our heart rate also increases. Okay, it's helping to strengthen up uh, or give our, our heart a higher level of health uh, because it's actually being used and being exerted. So again, um, with the cardio side, there's two types of cardio. Uh, there's long distance cardio. Okay, so there's like doing hours and hours and hours of you know cycling or um, getting on the rowing machine or going for a walk and things like that. And then there's uh, what we call interval training which is short, sharp bursts of high intensity activity. Now, longer distance cardio reduces muscle mass. So as you're, so if you look at, uh, look at a lot of endurance athletes or marathon runners, they're quite lean, okay, quite skinny. They don't really have too much muscle mass and too much strength there. So as you're getting older, our strength is already dropping off as it is. So if we're doing a lot of longer distance cardio stuff um, and we're not doing any strength work, what's gonna happen is we're gonna actually lose a lot of muscle mass. We're, produce, we're, we're encouraging the loss of muscle mass and the loss of strength rather than trying to increase it. So if your goal is just for pure health and you just wanna feel better on a day-to-day basis, my recommendation is to use interval work. So uh, number one, it's a bit short, shorter um, to do time-wise, okay? So you could do like, for example, you could get uh, on a rowing machine and you could do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for 10 minutes, okay? And what that will do is that will give you your heart enough of a workout and your breathing enough of a workout to see improvements with your cardio and improve your riding. Um, 
but it's also not going to affect your strength work. Interval training doesn't affect strength work. Longer distance cardio stuff does affect strength work. So if you want the best results for, for getting strong, keeping as much testosterone around as possible as you get older, um, then use the interval work and pair that up from either. Um, so again, you can do that three times a week. So literally your, your workouts could be, um, you do maybe some deadlifts and squats uh, three times a week. Okay, and um, on that same session, you do a 10 or 15 minute uh, workout on the roll where you do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And that's your training for the week. Um, so as you get older, you can, when you're younger, you can rely on doing a lot of training and to get you through and to see improvement. When you're older, you can't rely on that level of volume because you don't recover quickly. So you have to flip your thinking. Instead of thinking, okay, I have to do more training, you're not going to be able to do that or likely not going to be able to do that. You're going to find it a lot, hard, a lot harder to do than when you were younger. So what we've got to do is we've got to do things smarter. We've got to make sure when you go and train, you're doing training that's really effective and really helpful for getting you stronger, improving your fitness on the bike and losing weight, um, rather than just doing a whole heap of stuff and wasting your time because you've only got a, a limited amount of time to do this. Third thing is nutrition. So if we're, you're getting older and you're focusing on losing weight or getting leaner, um, one of the things that happens when we get to the, I, I think it's the age of, it's either 25 or 28, um, our metabolism slows by 1% per year from the age, it's either 25 or 20, I can't remember, it slows up by 1%. So in the early days, when you get past 25, you're hardly going to notice it. When you start to get up to your 40s, 50s and 60s, that's when you're going to start to notice it a little bit more. Um, again, when you're younger, you can get away with that stuff. You can have a, a block of chocolate or you can go out and have ice cream on the weekend or have a whole bowl of chips or you know, eat whatever you want and you burn it off because you're so active as well. And also because you're a lot you're younger. As you get older, you don't have that same ability. So it's a lot easier to gain weight and it's a lot harder to lose weight. So with the nutrition, we have to make sure we're tracking and we're eating the right types of foods when you want to lose weight because you can't get away with just trying to out train it. Um, we have to make sure that you've got the right amount of calories going in um, and we're burning a certain amount of calories going out so that you can drop weight everywhere. Um, you should be losing about half a kilo to a kilo a week if you're doing this properly. Uh, but that's the reason why tracking your nutrition is important and having a bit more focus on eating good quality foods is because your metabolism is slow. It is getting harder. It might, you probably notice that it feels harder to lose weight and feels harder to keep lean compared to when you were younger. And that's because it is, okay? Your body is slowing down. So when we use the right type of training, the strength and the cardio work I just talked about, um, that helps to speed up your metabolism and get it working the opposite way. So you notice the common theme here is there's things with your body that are slowing down that are being reduced. We want to do things with your training and do things with your eating that help to counteract that and speed those things back up. And so what that means is it just stops your body deteriorating like this over your lifetime. We're getting it deteriorating like this. So hopefully it buys you another 5, 10, 15, 20 years of actually usable years in your life um, where you can still go and ride your bike with your mates, go and do enduro riding, go and do motocross, uh, go and do fitness work, go and catch up with your grandkids. You can still, or kids, you know, you can still do those types of things as you get older rather than be, rather than getting to your 50s and feeling like your life's over. You can get to your 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, okay, um, and still be doing things that are um, that are helping you to live your best life. Uh, so, um, on that topic, um, I am looking for a new group of riders to work with. Um, so, I'm looking for five riders that are in the 40 to 60-year-old age bracket. Um, who want to do a few things. I'll go through them now. First of all, you want to go for a ride with the boys and keep up on the weekend. So if you go for an enduro ride and you feel like you're lagging behind or you're the one that's holding everyone back, um, that dot points for you. Um, if you want to get fit again uh, without flaring up older injuries. So as you get older, you tend to accumulate injuries as you go through your life. Um, so if you need a system where you've got particular injuries that you need to know how to work around, there's certain things you can't do, like you can't run because you've got a dodgy knee, um, then that dot points for you. Um, <clears throat> if you want to train hard, but not so hard that you can't walk for a week, um, if you want to be able to get stronger using simple movements, so not a whole heap, heap of complicated high-tech stuff that requires a shit ton of, of equipment that leaves you looking like an idiot when you try and do it. Um, if you want to build your cardio up without running, um, or sitting on cardio equipment for hours and hours and hours. Hey, Kyle. Um, if you want to improve your overall health and wellness and only do three workouts a week. Okay, so in other words, you don't have to give up your whole life to make it happen. Um, 
you want to lose some weight using meals the rest of the family can enjoy too. Okay, not feeling like you're isolated eating your own special lettuce and couscous uh, meals every day while the rest of the family is eating uh, other stuff. Uh, you want to have enough flexibility to still go out on the weekends and have lunch with your family. So again, it's not having to put your, your whole life on hold to make this happen. It's having ways that you can use to lose weight and get your health on track and still enjoy your life at the same time. Um, if you want to be able to eat normal foods and feel better about yourself. So again, like I said before, no rabbit food required. You can eat proper food, shepherd's pie, chicken schnitzels. Uh, what else we got? Steaks, okay, like actual proper real food. Um, and if you want little to no meal prep, so you don't have to put your life on hold to lose weight as well, okay? Um, I hate doing meal prep personally, so I uh, come up with meals and meal ideas that take little to no work to get it done. So uh, if this sounds like you, um, you may be interested in applying for my Fast Laps program for 40 to 60 year old riders. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, I'll put a little bit more info below in the, um, in the comments for you. Uh, feel free to fill out the application form, ask you a couple of questions about what you're working towards, uh, and I'll see if I can help or not. Uh, but I hope to hear from a, a few of you. Uh, help the older crowd out a little bit, which is not, uh, uh, usually focus a lot of these videos on the, the younger guys, but uh, looking forward to getting a heap more um, of you 40 to 60 year olds, uh, fit, strong, and ready to go and ride. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Um, I look forward to putting some more together for you soon. I'll chat to you soon, guys. See ya.